well. And I want to be able to write funny jokes and write intentionally in times. And I feel like with all the MC stuff that I've done over the years, I'm sure you feel this way too. Like I'm pretty good at the off the cuff stuff. I, yeah. I need to work on the writing, the structure, the, the effort um, well, that, that I don't mind, really work to craft or perfect a joke very often. Well, with that in mind, I mean, the perfection of a joke comes with repetition. And, you know, for example, as I mentioned earlier, most jokes are based on surprise, the success of them, not all, but, but very, very many. Um, and it's a case of calibration often. If you've put too much information in your setup, then the audience will guess the punchline before you deliver it, thus no laugh. Right. If you don't put enough information in, they can't possibly understand the joke, thus no laugh. So it can be the, you know, the germ, the seed of a great joke. But you've got to just work it a few times and go, OK, I've got to edit this down. They knew too much. They didn't know enough. You know, half a dozen iterations. There's no number. But you know, let's imagine half a dozen iterations of it going wrong. And all of a sudden, you've got a piece of gold that you can use in every comedy set ever, if you so choose. But with the things you said there that, you know, you see, you know, my beginners course has, I think, 22 sections in it. They average out at about 10 minutes a week. Again, it's designed to be you know, one a day, three weeks later, you, you know, you've made massive advances. You know, there's a challenge at the end of each one. But amongst those 22 sessions, seven of them are explicit joke writing exercises. You know, so there's no way somebody could do that course and not be able to come away. If you just do one of each of the seven, you've probably got the right. best chance of filling the five minutes straight out of the gate, plus mm -hmm. everything else. You, you know, with this background and skill set you have, you'll pick it up super quickly of that. I have no question mark. Maybe. Well, hopefully we're encouraging other people to do that as well. If you're listening to this and you're thinking, I want to give this a shot here to in the new year, make a new year's resolution to be more funny. Uh, mm -hmm. Go to wearefunnyproject.com. Check out those courses. Alfie also does comedy coaching there. If you need some uh, personal help with that, there's some bundles on that, which I think are uh, awesome. Anything else uh, I forgot to ask you, you wanted to mention or, or stuff there? Um, you could ask me anything you like. I would say that if anybody goes to the website, as you said, wearefunnyproject.com, if they give us their email address, then they can download a free book, ebook immediately. Uh, I changed it recently. It's now the eight most powerful ways to turbocharge your stand up. So whether you've not done stand up, you've just begun, or you're three or four years into open mic, there's still great information in there for you. Awesome. Uh, I love it. Go check out Alfie and the website. Now, are you ready uh, to play a game? I was born ready. <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, you mentioned you're a movie expert. I think you even studied this. I have some movie trivia for you here. Uh, I'm going to look so foolish if I get these wrong, given what I said earlier, but hit me. Well, the problem with the survey-based questions is it's not the right answers that matters. It's the ones that are most popular and common. Okay. So uh, we asked 100 people to name a movie starring Chris Pratt. What do you think they picked? Guardians of the Galaxy. Number one answer. There you go. 40 points uh, for I that I think one. many of them were saying Moneyball or Zero uh, Dark Thirty, just to show my movie knowledge. Uh, just to show off. I like that. Zero Dark Thirty did come in at number seven. Uh, okay. Uh, name two actors that are famous for playing a romantic couple together. Sorry, two actors that are famous for playing a romantic couple together? Yeah. Uh, Meg Ryan and Billy Crystal and When Harry Met Sally. Yes. Uh, that's number four. I think they were in a couple. Uh, Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan made number one. And you uh, both know. Yeah. And Ryan that's Gosling horrifying. and Rachel McAdams be on there forever that's a horror uh, or you can go statistic. humphrey bogart and lauren bacall you want to go old school. yeah exactly so you've got mail came in ahead of when harry met sally yeah that's a shame that i just be wrong. spare of survey but they were in multiple movies, like movies right they did sleepless in seattle and, others. and uh joe versus the volcano which is a film that does indeed merit forget it being <laughs> that's awesome all right name an action movie from the 2010s uh from the 2000 any action film from the 2010s uh die yeah. hard five <laughs> well there you go uh, i'm sorry i've got to go for the most popular one don't i i'm forgetting that aspect uh jurassic world oh there you go uh jurassic world was on our previous one with chris pratt but uh no avengers born uh iron man fast and furious and x-men made the top of the list okay All right, last so basically one. marvel and cars gotcha <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and I don't really consider some of those action movies, but I guess they are. 
Uh, name a movie that would be terrible to watch on a first date. This is of all time worst movies to watch on a first date. Well, my answer to that would be a Serbian film. That's the title of the film. I'm not just saying a film from Serbia. It's like some oh. awful torture porn kind of movie. You want to stay clear of that. Otherwise, a worst film on a first date that the American public have voted for. Uh, yes. Let's go Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ooh, so close. I'll give you the point for that because we have Halloween Saw, The Exorcist on here. Uh, but Schindler's List came in. At number one. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great person. Yes, that, that is indeed. Uh, the, the voting American public have gone right back up in my estimation after their earlier efforts. That is indeed the worst day <laughs> movie. <laughs> there you go. All right, Alfie, thank you for playing. Again, go check him out at wearefunnyproject.com. You can check out playfulhumans.com.